What's up everybody, this is Bobby Fish Tank and today I'm bringing you a reef tank video and uh, I wanted to bring you guys a care guide on um, Fromia milliparella which is a starfish. You can see a Fromia milliparella right there. Um, it is a bright red color and it has um, black dots on its um, arms and body. And uh, a way you can identify this away from other similar species is that it has um, points all the, out to the um, edge of its arms. So you will basically be able to identify it that way. Um, it doesn't grow very large. It gets about 5 or 6 inches and um, it grazes on microorganisms, macroalgae, pretty much everything you can find. Um, it's, just, it's a very good scavenger to have and it will basically feed itself and it shouldn't be a problem to feed it. If you have problems with feeding it, you could um, actually give them some flake food and they will actually accept that and, you know, eat that. So I'm sorry guys, but <coughs> my cat right here is trying to get up to my window and I think, and I'm going to take you outside because you're kind of annoying. Come here. I don't know why I didn't think about that before I made this video, but you know. Another cat out there. All right, so um, let's get back here. So, Fromia milparella is um, an omnivore. That means that they both eat meat and um, you know algaes, but it really likes algaes. It's what I've um, what I've heard is that they really like algaes, like bacterial film and stuff like that. Um, whereas with microorganisms like very small Kobe pots and stuff like that. It will also eat those if you can catch them. Um, you know, they pretty much eat everything and leftover food as well. So they're kind of a beautiful little scavenger that you can get, but um, you know, they're kind of expensive. But I think that the price for these guys are worth it because um, just um, like the, the fact that they actually um, eat, you know. Um, uh, they actually eat bacterial film, it's just a great thing. And most sea stars do that, but then um, for nano tanks, you can't really get a linkier sea star, you know, because they're way too big and yeah, they're just, they're just not as interesting to look at either because they don't really move a lot. And they just sit at one spot and do nothing. Where uh, Fromia will move around constantly, like, um, I mean, Yesterday it was here and now it's back there and sometimes it goes up in the cave right there and like I can I can like from now it, it can probably go from there to there by tonight so you know it can it can go pretty fast um, but it's not something you're going to notice um, they will also sometimes sit on the glass and eat on the LGs there um, and you will be able to see the the, uh, the feet those um, hydraulic feet that they have it looks awesome and they walk around the glass like some little like aliens. It looks pretty funny, and um, you know they're just a good thing to have in your reef tank because they scavenge for everything and stuff like that. Um, but what I've heard about some people um, having problems with is that if they haven't got enough food to eat, they might go and pick at corals. But when you see that your linkia sea star is walking on your corals, it probably means it's eating it. And sea stars normally don't go on corals because they sting and they don't really like those things, um, obviously. So they won't sit on the corals only if they eat them. And that they will eat the corals if they don't have enough food um, available in your system. And you know, that is kind of, that is, I mean, okay. Um, if you've got a lot of algae growing in a nano tank, you know, you often have a little bit of algae growing on the glass in a nano tank and stuff like that. That will be enough for the Linkia sea star to eat. Um, also, beware of having very aggressive fish with them or any fish that will eat invertebrates because they can eat the Fromia sea stars. Um, however, they are able to hide underneath the sand and regrow their arms, but then when they get up again, they're gonna get picked at again. So, you know, I have a Duddy bag in here and he has never really minded it at all. So, I mean, um, a Duddy bag can go well with them. Um, a bike called Duddy Bag. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I don't understand why so many people say they're aggressive because 
mine really isn't. He he does sometimes chase my chromis, but you know they they don't care. They're just like they just don't care. You know, just look at them. They're just swimming around in the open. So you know, I mean, they are kind of um, cool to have chromis because they look really beautiful. They have some nice coloration, and they just you know light up your tank with some red. And you don't really got a lot of red in your reef tank. Um, get one of these guys, they work great to get some colors up um, and you know stuff like that. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned a little bit from this as well and if you can go buy some from your sea stars because they're awesome. They're a great scavenger for a reef tank, a good addition and they'll help your cleanup crew um, cleaning your tank. So yeah, see you guys in another video.